Hi there, I'm going to show you how to do some cool text effects in Shotcut. First of all I'm going to tell you which version I'm using. It's Shotcut version 19.07 dated July 2019. Always use the latest version. Now the first thing is to open a colour clip. So go to open other, then colour, choose any colour, drag it to the playlist and then press the plus sign to get it onto the timeline. It's a 4 second clip by default so I'll stretch it out and I'll make the track shorter and I add another video track. Now go to open other again then text then type in the word Canada. This appears in a preview pane. I'm going to move that up a little bit and also select middle here and make the text bigger. Now I'm going to select use font size and give the text a size of 140 pixels. Drag this to the playlist, press the plus sign and it appears on the timeline. So the text appears at the beginning of the clip and disappears at the end of the clip and you can move the clip wherever you want which is uh, quite cool. Now I'm going back to the filters here I'm going to remove the thickness of the outline of the text and then I'm going to show you how you can do a basic fade in and fade out. So if you double click here and here we get a fade in from black through grey to white and a fade out from grey to black. Now to rectify this go to the filters panel and on both of those items there tick where it says adjust opacity instead of fade with black and we get a really nice fade effect. Now I want to do something more complex today so I'm going to remove those fade in and fade outs and we're going to use what we call a transition to make a fade in effect. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to open a transparent clip. Now drag it to the playlist and then press plus and it will appear on the timeline. Now drag it to here. Make these two a little longer by dragging. Remove this space in the middle by right click and then drag the left hand transparent clip over the clip. That creates a transition. As you can see it's a fade in. Uh, that's because if you go to properties you can see it's a dissolve which is another word for a fade in. Now we can change these so let's go down to bar horizontal and see what happens and we get the nice effect of the Canada revealing from the left. Now I can make the transition shorter by dragging across and like this and I can also make it longer by stretching like that. Notice the transition doesn't start until about halfway through the purple transition box. Now I'm going to replace the blue colour clip and move it across to there and I'll replace it with a clip of Canada, a video clip of Canada. Now I happen to have one there on my computer so I'm going to open that, drag it to the playlist and then drag it down to the timeline. I think I'll put it in that empty space there and then move it below and there we are. Now I'll just move all the clips to the beginning of the track. There we are, click those off. Add a fade in at the beginning and preview my effect. And there we are, Canada nicely revealing from the left. Again I can make this shorter and that's really nice. Now I'm going to create an end or exit transition uh, with the same revealing effect. So to do this I drag another transparent clip from the playlist remove the gap, extend it a little bit and then slide it back over the text clip. Now an out or exit transition is created but of course it's a fade out at the moment so what I need to do is to go back to properties and change it to bar horizontal. There we are, our effect. So here's a preview of the whole effect. Lovely. Next I'm going to add another animated line of text to my title. Now my first job is to move the Canada line a little bit higher. So I'm just going to delete these and uh, stretch the middle part outwards and then make another transition to the left and the right. But before I do that I'm going to move the word Canada up a little bit. So there we are, I'm just um, sorting these transparent clips. Make a transition to the left and make a transition inwards from the right and then okay it fades in that's because the default is a dissolve obviously so we change that to bar horizontal and there's our full effect with the text a little bit higher so far so good 
OK, next I'm going to copy that middle bit and put it onto a track higher. So there is my Canada text a little bit higher. Um, and I'm going to stretch that out to there and I'm going to go to filters and change the text. And I'm going to put in there Land of Mountains in lowercase. Now I switch off use font size and use the border to resize the box and then I position it so that it goes just underneath the track below so it looks totally centered. Then I'm going to reduce the size of that clip and then I'm going to copy the transparent clip there to the top track and uh, copy and paste it again. By the way I use copy and then B to put it on the track. Then I position those and make a transition to the left oops there we are remove that and then I make a transition to the left and a transition to the right as we did early stretch that out put in bar vertical this time and we get this let me just switch off that second track so you can see that on its own there we are land of mountains and then uh, I'm going to add a bar vertical to the last one stretch these two out a little bit and we get this there we are so if I make track V2 visible again and then we can see the whole effect there's Canada revealing from the left and Land of Mountains is revealing from the top now just reposition some of these to get the timing right um, I think I'll move that to there and Let's have a look, and there we are, Canada, Land of Mountains, and then Canada fades out, and then Land of Mountains. Now, Land of Mountains faded out a little too late, so I'm just going to insert another track here, move this to the track above, and then move it to the left a little bit, and that should make the Land of Mountains fade out a little bit earlier, and I think that's perfect. So far, so good. Now we'll go a stage further and I've copied some text into Notepad about Canada. So I'm going to create another text clip and copy and paste that text into that box. There we go. Paste. Drag that to the timeline. And start to reduce the length of some of these lines which makes the text come out a little bit bigger and do some more positioning incidentally there's a limit on the amount of characters you can have in that text field at the moment so I'm going to delete the last two lines of text then I'll reposition the text box hit return a few times to reduce the number of words in each line until I'm happy with the layout there we are now import two more transparent clips and create an in and out transition like I did before. Now I'm going to make it a bar vertical transition and it looks like this. Oops, much too fast. So I'm going to move these across here, make it longer. Uh, let's try that. Okay, still too fast. Stretch it a bit further. There we are. Ah, there's a problem here. The text disappears. Now I know what to do here. I notice this red line has moved across, so I need to slide it back to the end. Like that. There we go then. And that's a really nice vertically revealing effect. Great. Now I'm going to end this transition with a normal fade out by double clicking the back button. But I've noticed my Canada clip is not quite long enough, so I'm going to go to properties and reduce the speed to 0.5 there we go it's a little fast but um, it's got a nice fade out on the end and you can see the type of thing oops it fades to black so go to filters fade out and click adjust opacity instead of fading black and there we are so far so good now here's another option if I go to Properties and select Iris Circle, I get a really nice effect. There we are. I think that's better with a shorter transition. So slide that to there and move the end part. And there we are. 
Maybe a bit shorter even. Now, I'm going to put in an out transition here and also make it an iris circle. And the text does this at the end. And here's the final effect. Looking good. Now we go a stage further and I'm going to talk about custom transitions. Now I'm going to hit the internet and I'm going to put in there John Ray 1 GitHub. Now if you click on that and go to here, now this is my GitHub page. You need to find the folder or repository which is called Luma Files for Video Transitions in Shotguns and other video editors. There it is. Now click on it and you'll find a whole load of files uh, that I've done, mainly PNG files. And um, I want to select one. Let's choose John Ray Diagonal Stripes. Double click and you'll see that. It doesn't look much, but that is a Luma file. Now, without getting too technical, a Luma file is a black and white image with parts that are white, parts that are black, and parts that are various shades of grey. When using shortcuts and other video editors as a transition between, say, clip A and clip B, any black areas show only clip A and any white areas show only clip B. Grey areas show a mixture of clip A and clip B. The best way to understand how they work is to try them out. So download my collection of 8 Luma files and experiment with them. So when you've downloaded them, go back to your file and select custom right at the bottom here and point to the folder in which you downloaded the files. We're going to select one, let's choose that one there. It's called Messy. So let's see what effect that has to my transition. Oh yes, the text sort of splodges out. Nice effect. I'm going to try another one for the out transition. Uh, there's one called Smudge. Let's try that. Oh yes, a very similar effect. And I'll try another one, and this one's called Diagonal Rain. So here it is. Oh yes, yeah, quite a nice effect, that one. And one more. We're going to try Explosion. There it is. Although on that one you have to select Invert Wipe for it to work properly. There we are. Let's just uh, make it a bit longer. And there's my explosion at the end. Okay, that's quite nice. Now here's one more idea about how to use Luma files. You've probably got some on your computer that you didn't know about. Now I have a program on my computer called Everything File Search. Now I've put Luma Wipes into the search and it comes up with a folder called Luma Wipes and I can see quite clearly that that folder is within a folder to do with OBS Studio. Now OBS Studio is outside broadcast software which is a screen capture software which is free to download and obviously I've got that on my computer and um, it's quite a nice selection of Luma Wipes. So I'll scroll through a selection and uh, there's quite a few ones there. Hmm. Now I'm going to copy these Luma files and paste them into a new folder. Then I open a new version of Shotcut and go to Open File. I notice one called Blinds Horizontal. I open it in Shotcut and notice that it doesn't fill the entire screen because it hasn't got the same size ratio as my screen which is a 16 to 9 ratio. No problem, I resize it with the size and position filter remembering to select distort so it now fills the whole screen. I then go to file export frame and save the frame as frame blinds OBS then I select custom again and point to this new file. And this is the result. Hmm. Very nice. I'll just run that again. There we go. Now I do the same with the out transition. There we go. I'm just going to show you one more technique. So I use the size and position filter to make this smaller. And then position it above the Canada text. Then add an opacity filter and reduce the opacity to make the text show through. And then I can position it exactly over the Canada text. And 
take off the opacity. Hide the two tracks below and then export as a frame. I'll call it Frame Text Blinds OBS. Now make the two tracks visible again and apply this Luma file to the in transition. Here's the result. Small horizontal stripes. Do the same to the out transition and this is the result. Nice. Now just before I go I've thought of one more creative thing to do. So I apply the rotate and scale filter to the file to put it vertical and then by doing a bit of copying and repositioning I'm able to create some vertical small blinds which gives this effect when used as a transition. OK, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope it's given you some useful ideas. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.